The computer needs to be able to access where your child came from so they know what your child thinks, what your child believes, and how your child learns. That's your learning style. What's the best way to change the behavior? What's the best way to attack the attitude? And serves it back up to the child. Do you see parents on this graph? I don't either. About values clarification, and, and there's a lot of controversy about it, but people don't always understand what's wrong with it. You know, that those promoting it say, well, we're just trying to help of our children to understand their values. I want you to think of your mind as a computer. You've all heard the lifeboat story, right? You know, there's ten people in the lifeboat, the lifeboat only holds nine. Who are we going to throw out of the lifeboat? And if I told you that story, all of your mind would start thinking, who am I going to throw out of the lifeboat? The first time I heard the lifeboat story, I was a grad student. My degree is in special ed, so I'm a ringer. And I said to the prof, well, we're not throwing anybody out of the lifeboat. We'll throw a rope out of the back of the lifeboat and somebody swims for a one-hour shift. There's only ever nine people in the boat and everybody only swims three hours a day, an hour at a time. He said, there's sharks in the water. I said, there's a shark back in the boat. And the conversation ended. But I was a ringer because I knew that he had controlled the universe. He said, who are you going to throw out of your lifeboat? So all of your minds, because that's how all of our minds work, there's the box and there's where we go. Who are you going to throw out of the lifeboat? If I had said to you, come up with a solution to save everybody, you would have thrown a rope out the back of the boat, you would have turned the boat upside down in the water because it's more buoyant, put the baby on the top of the boat, everybody cling to the boat, no problem. Everybody take off all their clothes because at this point nudity is a, is a little, not real important when we're saving a life. Uh, throw out everything not, not necessary in the boat. We bail for so many hours. I've heard hundreds of suggestions. If I had said to you, save everybody in the boat. But I didn't say that. I said, who are you going to throw out of the lifeboat? And so your mind went right over here. Just like a salesman says, do you want it on your Visa or your MasterCard? He gave you a choice, didn't he? Is no one of the choices? Never. And everybody I know, including me, has bought at least one thing I didn't want because I answered the question and was three minutes further in the conversation before I realized, you know, I really did want to say no. But now I'm too embarrassed to go back and say no because I don't want him to think that I'm a schmuck. And we all do that. It's the same technique that salesmen use all the time. Would you like a red car or a blue car? Do you want that in 10 days or 30 days? You always get a choice, but I control the universe of choices. That's how various clarification works. If I control the universe of choices, I can mold someone's behavior. And they always think that they thought it up by themselves because they didn't realize that I controlled the box. That's why values clarification is wrong. Because it makes the child think that they made up their own mind when they really didn't because I gave them some very concrete guidelines inside of which they had to make up their mind. And it's a very valid way of changing a behavior.